Thank you, Seekers. I'm Nick. Six months in waiting and planning. It's the day. It's the day. I'm starting on my custom water cooled gaming PC for myself. Yes, I'm excited. Uh, check out the last video around the edge of the frame. It's on the left hand side for me, it's on the right hand side for you. 5000D airflow, constantly smashed myself on lights. All the parts laid out over here that we showed yesterday. So without further ado, I'm gonna stop talking for the rest of this video. Please. Oh. Well, just for this bit, and this is gonna take me about two days. So you're seeing two days of work in the space of probably like 15 to 20 minutes. So let's do it.
It's the next day and uh, I actually ended up re-bending every tube. Uh, I wanted to make the loop different after the first day of planning everything. So I literally stopped yesterday, I had all the tubes in there. Then I was like, oh, wasn't quite happy with all of the runs. So I redid them to be a bit nicer. And uh, we had one mishap, just one. Uh, it's a big one. We uh, The radiator was pierced. Um, I don't know, it happens sometimes, but it's okay. I had spare radiator, swapped out the rat on the side, and this machine's been pressure testing for about an hour. The needle hasn't moved from 0.3 bar for the entire hour. So I like this actually, this is pretty good because now I don't need to like worry if it's gonna leak or not or put paper towels down or whatever, because yeah, it's been, it's literally been leak testing for over an hour. You, should, you only need to do it for about 15 minutes with one of these. And if the pipes don't fly off and pop out your eye, you should be good to go. So it's filling time, finally. All right, I'm tired. This is taking a long time, but let's get into it. Let's fill it. Ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed my own personal dream custom water cooled gaming PC build. I'm not going to be doing benchmarks or anything in this video because I just want to use the PC and it's been two days of non-stop work on it. So I just, I just want to play the thing and play some games on it, to be honest with you. Anyways, let's uh, chat about all those parts. The CPU is the AMD Ryzen 9 3950X. I was debating whether or not to go with the 5950X or the 3950X. I didn't want to take it out of rotation because I want to use it for builds for you guys on the channel. So we put the 3950X on the ASRock X570 Aqua. Gear Seekers edition, yep. It's the one of one Gear Seekers one with the Gear Seekers logo, or with the, well, rather the Gear Seekers name on the board, which is very cool. So yeah, thanks to ASRock for making us this board like two years ago. And <laughs> I've kind of been <laughs> waiting for the right time to use it for a build. And this is the one that I had planned all along. The GPU is the ASUS ROG Strix RTX 3090 OC with the EK Vector water block on it. It is a absolute beast of a GPU. And yeah, I was like, I had this, this water block here for a long time. This is actually the original R&D sample one that EK sent us to test fit that ended up working perfectly. So I went with that. I do have an acetyl one, like a black one as well, but I wanted it to be blingy. For RAM, we went with 32 gigs of Triton Z Neo at 3600 megahertz. All the fans in the system are the Leon Lee Uni fans, the SL120s. There is nine in total. The pump res combo is the brand new EK FLT240. It's got a D5 on the back. So they have it in two versions, the DDC version and the D5 version. I went the D5 version because more power. D5s, they just pump harder, bro. Yeah. The cable extensions are from Cable Mod. I got these custom made up for this system. I'll uh, put a link in the description to the cable configurator for these cables if you guys want to purchase them yourself. I guess I could do that, right? As far as radiators are concerned, as I mentioned, we punctured a radiator, which is just, it happens sometimes. I don't know, I've, I've never done it before. I was a bit mad because I had to remove the front rad and the pump raise combo and everything after I'd plumbed it up to pressure test it, I had to pull it out. I didn't film it because well, I was just frustrated, but you know, this is the way it is with custom loops. A lot of people don't talk about it, but not everything always goes to plan. And the original idea was to not use a slim rad on the side. We had clearance issues down the bottom, so I changed it to a, a slim rad. The top rad was interesting. I thought we'd fit a 360 in the original idea I had in my head. 240 was the way to go. For a 120 mil radiator mount, and this is one of the issues I had with the case when we reviewed it, the 120 mil rad sits too far in close to the motherboard. Most of the time, it's not an issue for a custom loop, big issue 
with the water cooling fittings coming off the actual radiator. If you had it oriented the way that I have, which I would actually recommend doing if you're doing a custom loop, I moved the radiator out to the 140 mil mount, which is further towards the edge of the case. And I made some custom metal brackets up the top that actually help fasten the other side of the radiator to the case so it doesn't sag down and fall away from the case and coolant goes everywhere and explosions and lots of tissues to clean up your messy opaque coolant. All of the fittings in the whole system, or well, almost all of them, are the new EK fittings. I did use a bunch of like random spaces and stuff. They're all bits power ones, but most of the fittings you can see are EK. And I actually put the purple rings inside the fittings because you can actually customize the fittings now by adding some accents and colors. So there's purple, um, anywhere that I could put it, there's 10 in total in the whole system. Now, I know a couple of people are gonna say, oh, you didn't hook up like front panel audio or whatever. I don't use it. Oh, you didn't hook up USB type C on the front. I don't use it. If I don't use something, I'm not gonna hook it up. Right, the coolant. Now the coolant is a blend of Nothing, it's EK Mystic Fog. <laughs> it's their new coolant, well, their newish coolant that was basically designed to not be clear, not be opaque, be right in the middle, and it helps to diffuse the light inside the system. My original idea was always to use this coolant. Now, I didn't use like the one liter bottle of it. I used the concentrate and I mixed it myself to get the clarity and opaqueness that I wanted. I've seen a lot of good things about Mystic Fog over time. I saw some stuff the other day of people like showing their water blocks and stuff after two months of straight usage and it's been absolutely perfect. And because this is my gaming PC, I don't wanna to have to maintain this thing that often. So yeah, I'm not going to. So Mystic Fog was, the best mix between having a colored coolant and it also being opaque. And I didn't want to put any dye through it or change the color of the Mystic Fog. I think the, the whitish color is kind of cool and with the side panel on, it's going to look sick. Speaking of, I'll put a PC part picker list down below in the description for most of the things in here, but the side panel, right? I'm going to give you guys a treat because this is the end of the video. I'm putting the side panel on. We're going to visit our mates at Peel Corp. I prepared this earlier. All right, look how good that looks with the side panel on. I wish you guys could see that. Oh. And then we have it ladies and gents. I don't have a name for this build. I should come up with one for the for the video, but yes, here it is. My dream custom water-cooled gaming PC. If you like the music you heard here, I make all the music that's available over on Patreon. If you wanna get early access to videos like this one, head on over to Floatplane. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek, and oh, I, I, whew, I'm very, very excited. Let me know if you guys wanna see a benchmarking video with this PC, I might just do it once it's sitting underneath my desk and everything's plugged up and all ready to go. I'm very excited to start playing Skater XL on this. <laughs> or Final Fantasy X-2. <laughs> so overkill. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I appreciate you very much. Love you all. Thank you for your support and thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Let's go game. I'm exhausted, Claire. This build took ages. It's so worth it. Look how good it looks with the panel on. Wow, that's, oh, I could just look at this all day. I'm gonna have to turn the brightness up now. All the lights, I'm gonna full maximum bling levels.